Hi, this is Paul Stevens with Cottage Craftworks, and today we're going to discuss uh, the Embergood Electric Ice Cream Freezers. They come in two sizes, six quart and eight quart. Uh, we're going to demonstrate the six quart today. Embergood, uh, if you Google that into uh, the German translation, comes out to be always good. Embergood is not made in Germany, it's actually made in the USA by the Amish. The Amish, um, we have about 90% of our products come from the Amish, and when you research Embergood on the internet, you'll, you'll find that not too many people talk about the Amish. We feel that's important because the Amish really make some quality products, and their philosophies are a little bit different than mainstream America. In mainstream America, we have people sitting around a boardroom or in laboratories trying to figure out how to make things cheaper. In the Amish communities, they sit around a dining room table trying to figure out how to make things last longer. So we feel that's a very important quality about the Embergood freezers. Embergood made in the USA. And this is the only triple action motor on the market that we know of. That's why it's taller than what the original White Mountain motors were. On White Mountain, the inner dasher stays stationary and the uh, can spins around the dasher. On the Emmergood, it's like the hand crank freezers. The dasher actually turns in one direction and the can spins in the opposite direction, which will give you a much more richer, creamier ice cream than what the older White Mountain freezers used to do. The other difference on the Embergood freezers is the White Mountain used to be nickel plated, and these are all stainless steel. It comes apart easy for cleaning and your triple action works with the dasher spinning in one direction and then the can actually has a knob in the bottom where it locks in and spins this in the opposite direction giving you the creamier ice cream. Emmergood also uses a poly tub center that's a food grade poly and stainless steel screws. The old White Mountain used to use a cast and the concept of adding a cast metal into something that you're going to have salt water in never really made sense to me. But is that part of plan obsolescence which the Amish do not just subscribe to? The other issue is the old White Mountain used to uh, leak, and these are uh, poly, foam-filled poly tubs that's not going to leak on you, and they'll take a lot of abuse. So one of the reasons that the Emmergood freezers are more expensive than what people used to pay for the White Mountain is the quality. The can is much more thicker, all stainless steel, no solder. The tub is a foam filled like used on a high-end ice cooler. The tub latches are actually like the old cam window latches, all stainless steel. Tub ear, all stainless steel. Poly tub ear, stainless steel screws. All stainless steel, triple action dasher. And the main motor is all USA made, stainless steel, triple action. So we've made our mix and it's been chilling for about uh, two hours. So now we're gonna add it to the canister. This is a vanilla uh, mix with uh, egg. 
So that was four six quarts. So if you notice, that brings it to half the canister, and that's exactly what you want for six quarts because it will expand. And put it down inside, center it onto the tub ear or tub center, I'm sorry, and then bring your lid around. Now putting the motor on is probably the most difficult part of this because you need to make sure it's all the way over and then you want to bring it slowly lifting it down while you're turning that until it falls down in and then you put your latch in like that the, the smaller chunks of ice crushed ice works best but it's difficult to find in the stores because you want the ice to go all the way down in surround the tub So we have our ice level up here with some rock salt in there. This is a weep hole right here to keep any uh, salt water out of your ice cream. And all, all we have to do is turn it on and let it run for a few minutes. As you can hear, the motor is very quiet, so it's not gonna create a lot of noise uh, while it's running for, while y'all are getting the ice cream ready. So the motor does have an overload if the ice cream gets too thick. So you wanna try to catch it before that happens. That way it doesn't shut off and cause unnecessary wear on your ice cream motor. So you can remove the lid and the dasher. We also have a stainless steel lid on our site, cottagecraftworks.com. If you would like to store your ice cream in here and put the lid on there so you can take it to a picnic. This will just come out and you can serve it directly from here also if, uh, if you're ready to serve it. Yum. <laughs> Is that delicious? Hot sunny day. Thank <laughs> you.